Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Two prisoners, Stephanie responds to Bobby and Paulina's clinical result. Days of Our Lives spoilers update for Monday, February 19th, uncovers that Kayla Johnson will be on the chase after Trip Johnson at the clinic, where he should begin a shift after the geocaching occasion. Kayla will be surprised and frightened by the news that Trip won't be there. Dislike Trip to skirt a shift, so Kayla might truly don't like this. Tragically, Trip and Wendy Shin got hoodwinked by official Goldman who drove them away all the while intending to mislead and misdirect. While Wendy and Trip believe Officer Goldman is acting in accordance with Ray Fernandez's directives, they will soon discover that they were duped by a Salem PD shady. Day's spoilers say Trip and Wendy will be held in imprisonment, so they'll be stayed together while Ava Vitali ultimately finds Trip is missing and denounces Clyde Weston. On another note, Constantine Melionis will keep on being a complete villain as he goes after Maggie Kiriaki's weakness and gets her nearer through an extraordinary Valentine's night. Back at the emergency clinic on Monday's DOL episode, Day's spoilers say Paulina Cost will inhale a moan of help after her medical procedure, particularly since she'll have her friends and family close by indeed. Abe Carver, Chanel Dupree, and Johnny DiMera will accumulate around after Paulina's apparently effective methodology, yet something lets us know Paulina could push the lovebirds to go celebrate at home. Different Day's spoilers say Jada Tracker will have a few unforgiving words for Everett Lynch now that she's remembered him as her previous hubby, Bobby Stein. After Everett contends that he has no clue about what that's identity is, he'll swear he's never seen Jada and certainly never sealed the deal with her. Jada will fire back at Bobby for being a tricking liar and will won't allow him to transform Stephanie Johnson into his next casualty. Stephanie won't know what to think when her best pal's telling her a certain something and her sweetheart's telling her another, however she'll doubtlessly concede Jada's telephone pick of Bobby closely resembles Everett. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Jada will truly allow Everett to have it, so stay with us for refreshes on her outburst and any approaching Bobby stunners. Stefan outlines Xander shrewd Demera put Victoria's daddy behind bars, Days of Our Lives spoilers uncover that Xander Cook is a blameless man this time around. Sarah Horton fortunately trusts Xander and has employed Justin Kiriakis to address him, yet shielding Xander won't be a simple assignment. That is on the grounds that Sham Proof is stacking toward Xander, who's plainly being gotten up positioned except any penalty. Someone is putting in a lot of effort to make Xander appear guilty through the phone messages and the gun that was planted at his apartment. Obviously, this is a layered secret since Days actually hasn't uncovered who terminated two times at Harris Michaels. Stefan DiMera is a choice, yet could he truly pursue Harris without blinking like that? Official Phillips could be one more grimy cop since he's been acting sort of obscure and giving Stefan abnormal looks. It's conceivable Stefan had Official Phillips pursue Harris while Stefan took care of outlining Xander. DOL fans will review that Xander got a call from somebody utilizing a mutilated voice, so he appeared at the DiMera house to charge EJ DiMera. Since EJ wasn't there, Xander yelled to Stefan all things considered. There's clearly a justification for that, so it's conceivable the discussion gave Stefan the plan to approach Xander. Stefan might have concluded that Xander would make the ideal fall fellow in light of the current situation. In any case, it's additionally conceivable Stefan himself was behind that call. It's possible that Stefan came to the conclusion that Harris was a problem on his own, or it's possible that Clyde gave him the order to arrange everything outside for him. Stefan certainly appears to be tense around Ava Vitali like he has something to stow away. That could mean Stefan is the explanation Harris almost confronted a bleak destiny or he essentially had some awareness of it ahead of time and never really halted it. Notwithstanding, Day's spoilers propose that all signs highlight Stefan outlining Xander. Regardless of what else Stefan might have done, it appears he was able to put Victoria Horton Cook's daddy in a correctional facility. What is your opinion about the underhanded street Stefan is on? Is Days taking it excessively far or is this the sort of Demera-like way of behaving that will be normal? Days of Our Lives spoilers say Xander's name will be cleared in the end, yet Stefan could confront awful news on the off chance that Xander gets refreshes on his arrangement contribution. Jada detonates, her twofold date collapses? Days of Our Lives spoilers and updates bother Jada Tracker will impact Everett Lynch will guarantee he's not her ex-Bobby. 
the twofold date she and Ray Fernandez are on with Everett and Stephanie Johnson, collapses as Jada detonates. Jada and Rafe and Everett and Stephanie were having a twofold date so Jada could meet Stephanie's old new beau Jada was away from the table when Everett and Stephanie showed up. Jada returns to the table to see Stephanie's new sweetheart is her ex Bobby Stein and she detonates, not realizing he was in Salem. Ada is in finished shock yet she attacks Bobby immediately, they're in the Brady bar and doesn't really mind who's there and who sees and hears it. Jada feels like she's in a bad dream, and one she assumed she had at last awakened from, subsequent to being away from Seattle, in Salem several years. Rafe and Stephanie attempt to quiet her down, yet neglect to stop what is happening, Jada never having had conclusion to her marriage in which Bobby undermined her. Goading the traitor. Everett denies realizing Jada not to mention having at any point been hitched to her, demanding that she has some unacceptable person, and has proceeded with disavowal just sets her off. She has a photograph of them still on her telephone from when they got ready for marriage, with an enormous precious stone on her finger yet that was before the genuine Bobby arisen. She never had conclusion, is simply ghosting her in a way like what befell Stephanie, and her marriage finishing off with separation and she figured he was cheating. Everything that Jada had held back for years and never had a chance to confront her betrayer comes out as she continues to press her betrayer. Even though they can't deny the resemblance to the picture of Bobby in Jada's phone, it's still Everett's word against Jada's. Rafe Hernandez takes Jada tracker and they leave. Rafe at last takes Jada and they leave, leaving Everett and a confounded Stephanie without anyone else at the table, however Rafe tells Jada she has his outright help. Stephanie doesn't know whether Jada's allegations are valid, despite the fact that Everett claims it's an instance of mixed-up personality, in spite of the fact that Bobby's most certainly his doppelganger. Everybody is sucker-punched by this turn of events, despite the fact that as far as concerns Everett, he either has conflicting personality psychosis and Bobby is a modify or he has a formerly obscure twin. In Salem, the two circumstances have happened including among Stephanie's family members Abigail DeMera had conflicting personality psychosis and Stephan DeMera got a heart relocate from a twin. Who's to say that it may not be a similar case for Bobby and Everett as it was for Stephan and Jake DeMera? Criminal chaos, reunions, and unions. With regards to days of our lives, each fan has their own viewpoint, and Cleanser Center is the same. For five days, we sat and watched the upside, the awful, and in the middle between. We take the lead here with hope. Sadly, we don't necessarily in all cases get what we need. So here's a survey of the week that was, including relationship uncovers, achievement minutes, heartfelt intervals, and all around tumult. For the second consecutive week, Days is the cleanser that brought the sentiment. Obviously, the sentiment came that very week as gunfire and an overwhelming house discharge. So sentiment and the results of the medication ring savagery vied for consideration. Wednesday, the Valentine's Day episode, highlighted many, numerous snapshots of affection, and I truly felt a debt of gratitude. The fruitful models came from Johnny and Chanel's wedding, Steve and Kayla eminiscing at home, and John and Marlena in the recreation area. I expounded on it last week, and I need to say, these three couples made me very profound. Also, the flashbacks for the two exemplary couples gave the ideal touch to set off my adoration for wistfulness. However, I'd like to talk about Chanel and Johnny's wedding because it provided us with great moments in addition to the question huh, moments. Johnny and Chanel are one of only a handful of exceptional more up-to-date couples that have science and have been rootable since the earliest reference point. By and large, the function, with Abe administering, was sweet, close to home, and charming. Their commitment satisfied everyone's expectations. I could possibly have teared up. In particular, in any case, I truly wish the function didn't happen at Paulina's emergency clinic bedside while she held back to go into a medical procedure. Above all else, that room was little. Also, second, it was simply Abe and Paulina. This is Johnny and Chanel's subsequent wedding.